Hello everybody! Bam! Here's the former here and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. So we are... Um, well, we have some more pellets to sell. And um, yeah, but we are in April. Uh, weather forecast uh, looks a little bit dodgy when it comes to rain. But, there, there, you know, there's nothing ready to harvest anyway. But uh, contracts have been popping up now. Which is, there we go, there we go, 82,000 and some extra cash. Uh, yeah, this guy here. Um, if you didn't see, or if, if I didn't put it in the intro, I've now put down grass in this spawn. Uh, it's got perfect pH and perfect nitrogen level. So that's going to be good. Uh, my cows are good. 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 <laughs> are doing pretty good and yeah they haven't eaten that much i've had them for what one day now productivity is 100 percent and the food has gone down by what two three thousand liter mm, so that's good and they are producing manure and slurry let's see uh yeah contracts Oh yeah, so I've taken on two big fertilizing contracts, uh, field 6 and field 7. Uh, I've also taken on the smallest baling contract. Uh, first of all, these three other baling contracts were all for silage bales, and I have a lot of silage bales. Um, and since the price of selling silage bales are yeah bad, I'm going to keep most of them for food. So yeah, this is the only one for um, uh, hay bales, and it's the smallest field. <laughs> uh, but another thing is uh, leasing cost. If you see on these two contracts there, on field 31 and 33, uh, the reward is a little bit different, but the equipment is exactly the same. Same tractor, mower, baler, and wrapper, but the price is double. This one here, you need to pay 700 to lease this equipment from the shop. And this one is 1,400 to lease. Exact same equipment. I know the field is bigger, but uh, yeah. All right. And we still have some other uh, fertilizing contracts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use this equipment, uh, which I've leased from uh, yesterday. I got my mower and my tether slash windrower on the back. Uh, let's see what the... Oh, let's slow down the buddy. What did I say? Field 38. Yeah, that's that small uh, baby on the top here, all the way up here. Uh, all right. Um, so I haven't um, I haven't leased any equipment for this. I'm gonna use the well, the mower and the tether, of course. But then I'm gonna use my uh, outdoor trailer to pick up the bales. And the thing is, this contract was for where are they going? Don't say the train station now. Oh, wholesale. All right, all right. That's the sell point uh, which we put down. All right, all right. Then I just need to be a little bit um, uh, careful when I'm delivering these bales. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of bales. Um, and also, I have a baler which we also leased for from yesterday. But yeah, this Deutsch Fahrer, I kind of like it. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you up there. It's a long drive. But yeah, everything is growing now, which is good. Uh, looking at the map, everything is green, more or less. Whoop! Let's go there, and let's go there. There you see. More or less all the fields are growing with something now. So we're going to get a lot of fertilizing contracts, which is good. And hopefully that will also improve the uh, yield. Uh, which again will lead to that we are actually getting 
some more extra crop, so to speak. Yeah, well, we will see you up at the big field 38. So here we are, and as you can see, it's not a big field. Um, the disadvantage with using this setup here with a small mower and the tether slash wind mower on the back is it's going to be a little bit difficult to, you know, steal some uh, grass from the outside because I don't have a wind rower to wind row it into the field. Uh, but anyway, this is on the widest. Let's change this. Whoop. There we go, 0 0.5 meter. Turn that one on, lower it. And uh, let's take the mower, lower it. There we go, can we cut any grass here, you think? Nah, nothing. Alright, that's not much. Alright, alright. I'm gonna steal as much as I can on the outside here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm. Uh, we did the feel on the, the backside there, and what did we get like? What, six or seven bales? So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe the same here. Six, seven, eight bales, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, thanks for all the uh, support and comments and likes and dislikes or, you know, all integrations on the uh, video and channel are good integration. <laughs> so I uh, I really appreciate all the feedback and also you know there's a lot of help um, some of you guys have also mentioned that I should go into beehives um, you know they are I've never I don't think I've done that much beehives on FS22 um, and I don't think I have any mods for it either. Let's see. Constructions, animals, uh, bees. Yeah. No, I don't have any mods. So, you know, it's uh, this guy here, the biggest one. Uh, I might check out the mod folder if we have any, or if you have any nice suggested beehives I know there are there are some pallet spawn points which uh, are bigger um, but yeah it could be it could be a good idea for another passive income get out of there dears <laughs> All right, all right, I'm gonna, uh, we need to mow up this one and yeah, probably put in uh, a couple of uh, time lapse when I'm bailing this and let's see how many bales we get. So we got five bales, yeah, five bales, and we were left with about 4,000 liter inside the baler. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep that baler actually. It's it's pretty cheap to lease, uh, but this is the thing now. Yeah, five bales. If I just drive over it now, I will lose all my bales. Uh, so I brought my other tractor over here and. 
Yeah, let's see. Let's uh, put on the help window here. Um, because I am... Let's see. Um, let's offload these here. Bam. Jump into this guy. And I'm thinking, yeah, five bales. With the other baling contracts we've done, uh, I've got a lot of um, extra bales, uh, you know, to keep. So I'm thinking maybe two bales. Maybe two bales can uh, complete the contract. Let's check the contract, by the way. Should be 20%. There we go. Come on, buddy. We can do it. Two bales. 12,000 liter. Uh, there we go. Oh no, Fagalti. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, that's so much different. 13% and <laughs> that's a whole bale. Oh man. Alright, okay. But we got two extra bales. That's uh, 12,000 liter. Uh, you know, we can make uh, 24,000 liter with TMR out of that. So that's... Um, there we go. Uh, contracts finished. $5 envi environmental score. Uh, all right, let's uh, load on to these guys again and bring these back to the farm and let's do some uh, fertilizing contracts which are way much profitable. Yeah, so the baler I'm going to keep. Um, I am also considering to bringing down my last logs from my forestry area you know th this one here is gonna chunk away for days I you know 269,000 liter with wood chips um, but we have some logs uh, which we can turn into um, oh I want to say planks but it's not planks it's furnitures yeah there we go uh let's see transporting unload oh that way Ooh. up there maybe a little bit ahead bam there we go so yeah the, the uh, manure heap extension also works pretty good so this one is the hessian one isn't it or am i Let's see, uh, the, yeah, so that's the Hessian cow barn, and this is the Bavaria manure extension. There we go, we got some manure. Good going, girls. Alright, we need to do some fertilizing contracts. Yeah, I know, I could maybe have sold some of these... Silage bales. Let's check silage price now. I'm thinking maybe a hundred and yeah, 160, 117. We are in March, April. Yeah, it's way too much for my cows. You know what? Let's let's test with one load. Yeah, let's do that. Um, there we go. No, oh, we're not fully at there, buddy. There we go. And transporting petition. Uh, let's see. Wholesales. Yeah. You know, because, you know, if there's no other uh, contracts coming up, we could always do one more silage contract. My mower or baler. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep that old shed, actually. I was thinking about spending some money and upgrade it, but I, I think I'm going to keep it. 
All right, buddies. Let's see what you can do here. Now this is the thing about uh, this uh, bayloader here. Oh, there we go. It's uh, more or less perfect. Let's unload. Uh, these guys, we can twist and turn as we want. There we go. Are we more or less uh, a little bit ahead? Like so. <laughs> Let's unload bales here. Boop. There we go. 14,000 and 350 environmental score reward. Uh, score reward. Yeah, that's not a thing. Um, score reward. 62 on this one. Did I get anything on my grass field? Oh, yeah. Oh, two. Oh, yeah, that's because uh, these are two plots. All right. So why is this... <laughs> why is this better than this? It's I've done the exact same thing on both of them. Um, and this shows zero on nitrogen. <laughs> That's strange. But anywho, I think the um, the score will go up uh, after the first harvest or the first mowing, so to speak. But yeah, I'll uh, clean up here and um, let's do some fertilizing. All right, here we go. My blue and white. Uh, yeah, so field six and seven. Yeah, this guy here. My sleep trigger, my first sleep trigger from Joss. I still can't get rid of this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, field six and seven, these two big boys here. Oh man. But luckily, I have this spreader here, which is not that heavy on the consumption. But yeah, look at these fields. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna take a hot minute. Well, anywho, all right, let's uh, blend in here, buddy. Oh, that's some white. Oh, light spots! All right. That's um, that's lime. <laughs> Wait a minute. That... No, of course not. It doesn't. Uh... Yeah. So I got lime. Um, oh, all right. Now where's my fertilizer? Um, bum, 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 bum. Did I drop all my fertilizer in here? Uh, one of these guys. Are these lime or... F oh, no, that's lime. Uh, where's my fertilizer? Was that those pallets? Oh, yeah. All right, all right. You know what? I'm, I'm going to just dump my lime here, I think. And... Yeah, we... Okay. One of us stuck on... Oh, yeah, there we go. I forgot, I told you the last episode, uh, but this trailer here, or this fertilizer spreader here, you better off uh, unfold it, because of this little fellow here. Now I'm stuck on it. <laughs> you see? Hey. Uh, but if I unfold the um, ha um, harvester, there we go. Chuk, chuk. Just a little side note there. Uh, what side was this unloading from now? On the back, wasn't it? Boop! Oh, all the way over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's fill this up with the right material. And let's get going. Alright, now let's test it out. Okay, now we should have the right material here. There we go. And I just realized I'm using the wrong tractor. Because I am going to need this one, um, I'm going to need this one uh, to pick up my logs. If we're going to start to produce some planks, furniture. So yeah, you know what, I think I'm going to do, wow, this is a big one. <laughs> I think we need to change out the tractors and um, 
after I've done one headland on this field. Um, I can hire a worker. And... Yeah, we can... Wow, it's that wide. I'm going all the way. Yeah, okay, we are fertilizing also field six. So <laughs> now at least we know we have a, an edge. We have an edge on field six also there. <laughs> I wonder if this one is counting now on field number six. Let's uh, stop there. Let's see. Yeah. Field seven, 13%. Field one. No, field six, 1%. <laughs> so, I know I'm losing some uh, fertilizer in between here. But anyhow. All right, so, and yeah, my poplars are growing. Perfect condition, 122% expected yield. That's good, that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm loading up these uh, extra logs which I had laying around here for the furniture. Um, let's see, yeah, that's the one thing which is a little bit worrying. Let's see how many can... Oh, oh, that was a lucky one. Oh, that was a heavy one also. Ay, ay, ay. This is not... Uh, hang on there a bit, buddy. That's going to be too heavy. And you're stuck on the log there. Can we do the... Oh. Um, <laughs> this is on the edge. <laughs> Don't do this at home. Uh, let's see, let's line him up. There we go. Uh, yeah, there's an issue with my fertilizer spreader. Um, I did uh, put down one headland around the field. Let's see how now, let's concentrate. Uh, let's jump to this guy. Yeah, so uh, on, uh, we, where are we? Uh, field number seven. Uh, and now, since I'm doing position farming, you can see in the bottom left corner, we can also see the um, progress, so to speak. Uh, but the worker has been doing most of it. And you see also on the map here, we are soon finished. But the thing is that... the If you see, it's a little bit difficult to see on the field. Uh, but if you look on the bottom left side, uh, he's overlapping a lot. You can see, uh, it, you know, it's only on the right side where he is actually pushing out the um, fertilizer. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's the tractor, I don't know if it's the fertilizer spreader, but yeah, the um, I, but yeah, he's using a lot of fertilizer here. Let's see now when he turns around and, well, now it's so little again of the field. Yeah, we soon finished and then it's that field afterwards. Um, but yeah, what else? Um, yeah, I went to this um, really cool, um, I don't know what you call it in English, but it's like uh, a farmer's market. Um, yeah. I'm just going to call it the farmer's market here in Norway, uh, you know, where you have different um, companies uh, showing off their equipment and tractors and yeah, even the Elho stone picker. Uh, so if I get this right, I might also post some pictures. Uh, I've also posted some pictures on uh, my YouTube community and also my new Facebook page. Uh, but yeah, these um, these kind of markets, uh, farmers markets, are really cool to be on. Yeah, we're gonna... And the equipment, um, the real life farming equipment is so much bigger than it is in the game <laughs> if you know what i mean uh you know standing beside um uh, one of the things i saw was the um, 
Quernland uh, was spread. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. I think I have it. Yeah, this guy here. Uh, this guy I saw. Um, it only holds 1,550 liter. It was 165,000 to buy. So that's like 16,000, dollars and here it's 26 but maybe this is a bigger version of it but yeah this this, this one here was big it was huge <laughs> uh, what else did i see oh yeah i saw i think yeah it have to be this one here yeah this one here i saw uh this one also was huge compared to what i seen but it's this one is so what should I say? So well made. Uh, looking at the details here, and looking at the picture, uh, yeah, it's it's incredible. Like I said, these these things are um, they are big. <laughs> oh no no no! Oh, okay, let's uh, put on some tension belts, huh, buddy? Um, there we go. Oh, this is... Am I on the top? Yeah, okay, we need to do... Uh... Oh, 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 like a glove. Alright. Oh, easy. Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy. Leave it, leave it there, buddy. Okay, uh, let's see if we can hand carry these last two bits and bobs. Uh, object too heavy, of course. Um, yeah, what else? Um, yeah, there was a shooting contest. <laughs> and, you know, I was just passing by and a guy called me in. Uh, he asked me, oh, do you want to shoot? And I said, well, I haven't shot since, what, 10th grade or something like that. And he said, oh, it's only for fun, but you can win some prizes and so on. Oh, wow, that's bad. Um, so I signed myself up and we were shooting with this, um, oh, what do you call it in English? Um, it's, it's like uh, an air rifle. Yeah, air rifle <laughs> with these small uh, diabols, <laughs> as we call them in Norway. I'm I'm gonna leave these two. Um, but yeah, the shooting uh, went pretty good actually. Uh, the range on the shooting range was not that big. It was I would have to maybe seven and a half to ten meter range. And we paid like five dollars for five shots, and I got 48 points. And I was like, "Oh shoot, what happened here?" <laughs> and the guy running it, he said that well, we had like 68 people already, and you are number two. And I thought, "Wow, that's um, you know." And when I was shooting this probably sounds a little bit strange but when I was shooting shooting you know I, I was squeezing the trigger um, I might have seen too many movies and too many biathlon uh, contest um, but you know before when I was shooting uh, I haven't shot a lot so don't get me wrong uh, but you know, once you had the target within your sight, you would, you know, you were like, yeah, shooting. But now I was really, I was calm. Uh, I was holding the, um, yeah, the weapon, and uh, I was squeezing the trigger. You know, I was really slow, and I did that on all my five shots. And that's what they do in movies. <laughs> Aim small, uh, hit big or something like that. And yeah, it worked out pretty good. 
Uh, and I, as I was recording this in the beginning, um, the guys called me uh, uh, because I had to leave my telephone number. And the guys called me and they said, well, uh, you are either uh, number two or number three. Because one guy got 49 points, I got 48, and uh, there were also another guy who got 48 points. And he said, uh, we're going to close uh, in five minutes, and if there's no one else uh, coming and shooting better than you guys, uh, it will be a draw between the second and third place. And he said, we're going to call you tomorrow, and we'll let you know if you got second or third place price and I asked him what what are the prices you know I was like really excited I've never won something like that before <laughs> and he said since this was like a hunting company who run this contest um, the first price was uh, fishing gear uh, for like $350 a really nice fishing gear uh, second place was um, oh, what do you call it in English? Sleeping bag. You know when you go out tenting, you sleep in a sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, a really nice sleeping bag which uh, had a value of about a hundred and eighty dollar. So you can use it in all kind of weather. And the third price was like, um, he said it's more like a MacGyver equipment or a multi-tool knife, MacGyver knife, something like that. Uh, so yeah, um, so I'm really looking forward to when he's calling tomorrow. If, you know, if I'm going to win a sleeping bag or a MacGyver multi-tool. Now why isn't I, why isn't I, why am I not getting the trigger here to offload logs? Um, yes. Aye. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's the trigger. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, I thought this was the menu, uh, menu thing, but now that's the, um, that's the cell wood, of course. The menu thing is here. Ah, okay. Okay, let's switch to the other trailer. <laughs> the other trailer. There we go. And maybe there. Straps off. And... Chook! No, a potential belt. Wood. There we go. So now, if I jump into my uh, carpentry management house, I got 19,000 liter with, um, you know what? I'm going to stop the pellet production. <sighs> yeah. Because it's going to be a little bit confusing for me on the pellet spawn place. Uh, so I'm going to put it on this one, furniture. So four fur no four woods will make five furniture, furnitures. So that's gonna be what nineteen thousand liter. We're gonna get well maybe twenty twenty five thousand liter with furniture. And uh, what's the price? What can we get for furnitures? Or can we use that in another uh, facility? Oh, around 2,000. Ooh, nice. All right, all right. So that's going to make me, well, about 40,000. Uh, let's see, furniture is on storing. Then we can, poop turn it on. And it's also going to make me more wood chips. I'm going to get furniture and more wood chips. Nice. Oh. So now I just need to pick up these pallets here, uh, get these to the train station. Uh, how's my other guy doing there? There we go. He's probably finished. Yeah, looks like it.
let's uh, put cruise control. Let's check out there the contract. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, and the bailing contract. I can complete these two. I'm not gonna lose any equipment now. No. Bam. I'm gonna take on that fertilizing contract. Bam. And um, let's see. Bailing, bailing, bailing. Oh, there's one bailing contract here, which is dangerous. Uh, let's just uh, put this guy uh, on a worker. Let's see, they're way much wider than buddy. Oh, way much wider. Let's see. Uh, around here. Zero nine zero. Bam, hire a worker for now, at least. Yeah. Um, oh, this isn't fertilized at all. The other field, field number seven, was uh, from 50 to 100% fertilizer. So, yeah, I need to remember that. If I get a harvesting contract on field seven, I'm definitely taking it. Uh, but, yeah, contracts. Um, silage, silage, silage. Yeah, this one here. Don't take this if you don't have the equipment to do it. Because if you look at the tractor and the mowers, that tractor there does not have a front PTO. In other words, you cannot run the front mower on that one. Yeah, I know. I've done it. I've done the mistake. <laughs> Whilst well, this guy, this one, and that one are perfect. You know what? Why not? I don't have anything else to do. Um, should I take this big one? Uh, ooh, biogas plant. Everything. Oh. Uh, you know what? I, I'm, I'm thinking more this one than the biogas plant. Because when we you deliver silage to a biogas plant under a contract, and if I buy the biogas plant, I don't get the silage bales anyway. Uh, oh, which one to take now? You know what? I'm gonna take this one. Yeah. I'm gonna lease the equipment. Oh, the price on leasing equipment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, this one is 1,400 lease equipment. And this one, the same one, is 700. Half the price of leasing the equipment. Of course I'm going to take this one. Borrow items. Yes. Bam. There we go. And he, yes, the, now you can clearly see it. What in the world is this guy doing? Look at that overlap. <laughs> oh, you know what? You're fired for now. This is the way how to do it. You have to be really on the edge there, buddy. Like so. Let's see. Can I pull you there, maybe? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this headland here. Yeah, and uh, we need to drive all the equipment up to the um, grass field. So, before we start with the bailing contract, uh, I've been to the shop. Um, when I say the shop, I've been to the mod folder uh, with regards to animals and beehives. Uh, I found these two. Uh, this one here, it's only 500. And it said in the mod hub that this will produce 150 liter per day, which is not that much. Uh, but I also found this one. This one, it didn't say anything. Uh, how much, uh, you know, honey it's going to produce per day. But this is 20,000. So you know what? I think I'm going to go for these ones. Uh, and I think I found a perfect place for them. Uh, right there with my uh, grass field. 
I know, I know, I should, you know, place them uh, beside of a field to increase the yield by 0.0000%. <laughs> but I'm, I'm using these for the honey and not for, uh, you know, increasing the yield. So I'm thinking here, along here, put down maybe a bunch of these. Let's see, which direction is it? Does it have anything to say? I don't think so. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm gonna push, you know, scare off the people on the train a little bit. And they're only 500 each. So yeah, I'm thinking going a little bit crazy here with beehives. Uh, how much have I spent? Ah, uh, you know what? Why not? <laughs> and uh, I was thinking maybe here if I can get the spawn point for uh, for pallets. Oh, bringing in the honey trophy earned. Oh, I got a trophy. Way. Okay, uh, maybe that's enough. Um, and then uh, this one the. Beehive pallet spawner big 600. Can we place this one? Let's see how uh, which direction is it. Uh, yeah, just by the train yard, the train uh, rails there. Um, you know what? I'm gonna test it out. Yeah, bam. Oh. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's, uh, can we do some landscaping here? Let's, uh, let's paint some grass here so I can see where they are. There we go. Alright, alright, not too shabby. So this is gonna, oh, look at all the bees coming out. Oh man, did I place too many of these? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we are here uh, with this guy, uh, ready to rock and roll. And I've lined myself uh, up exactly on the edge of the field. It's on swat dropping. Let's lower it down. So now we can steal a little bit of the grass from the outside, which is going to yeah go straight on the line. And I don't think this has been done. Oh, that grass is from my last um, contract. So I can go a little bit further out, actually. Uh, but yeah, looking at the expected yield, 64%. So yeah, I, I haven't done any fertilizing contract on this one. I don't think I've got any fertilizing contract on grass fields. But yeah, this is gonna this is gonna make um, this is gonna make a whole lot of silage bales. I I need to find myself a way of uh, making good money with silage bales because silage uh, is usually king. I've said it many times before. Silage is king, but you know when you're running hard mode on economy. Uh, silage bales, what, I sold, what, 20 bales and I got like 14,000. You know, I'm thinking maybe there's a way of uh, selling TMR. We're gonna get some, uh, a whole lot of hay, which we can, you know, make TMR. And my cows don't need that much TMR. If you know of a sell point which takes uh, TMR, and let me know in the old comment section. And I think I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna enjoy doing some grass work here, making silage bales. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. 
if you did hit that like button and all those bells and whistles and i'll see you the next time shalom bye bye ha da ba uh, bienvenuto buona noche and all these things <laughs>